Stop moving! Thank you! And now to summon the bodyguard. Come to me, my friend! I'm here to serve! Good, good, good. I need you. I've been expecting you. Allow me to introduce myself. Hey, he's my got all his limbs. I must say, your future will become very bleak if you say Bove right now. As you wish. Far be it from me to shorten my own future. Just oh, I was right. Me, are you the one I seek? And I emphasize the word the. I am he whom you seek. For safety's sake, you may call me. Well. Whatever you'd like, actually. Then I'll call you homely, for that's an apt description. As you wish. I'll even dance if it keeps that sword out of my belly. Just get on with it. For one day. So, homely, why have I been summoned to this armpit of a town? You've not been summoned, my friend. You have been chosen. Quite an honor, I might add. Not another. Only the strongest and most courageous in all the land would have been chosen by the beautiful Princess Calais. Who's this Princess Calais? You know what? No. If you tell me that I've been chosen again, I'll run you through. Now, without using the C word, explain what the hell you're on about. Um, Please. Uh, uh, yes, well, uh, uh, as I was saying, you were... Asked to come here by the fair Princess Calais, the good Lord bless her. Oh, okay. Why does this always happen to me? Oh, go ahead and spit it out, for God's sake. Our fair princess is being held captive atop an ancient tower. Dark forces keep her locked away <sighs> in a mystical prison. Oh, she... freaking joy. Yeah, yeah, and only she can defeat the evil. Please, oh please, could you risk your neck to save her? Blah, blah, etc, etc, etc. I've heard it all before. Is that all you've got? Aye, that is... Well, you pretty much covered it. Yeah, I think you've wasted enough of both of our time. Why don't you go and recruit some idealistic young orphan to do it? They're pretty gullible. No kidding. Wait, did I mention that she's as rich as she is beautiful? Rich? How rich are we talking? The barest portion of her wealth could buy Dunby a hundred times over. Not bad. And mm -hmm. uh, you said she's beautiful as well. The fairest in all the land. Hmm. You tempt me, but still. Let me do something to allay any doubts you might have. You can speak with the princess directly. How really? Is it possible if she's locked in a tower. I have my ways. Just give her a chance to speak with you herself. She can be very persuasive. I'm I sure. I'm well compensated for my time. You will be, my friend. You will be. Good, good. All right. With visions of coin, cleavage, and carnage jiggling in his head. The bard and his newfound friend head off to be in the presence of the mysterious Princess Calais. This should be good. Here we are, my friend. Um. I see no tower here. I thought you were taking me to see this princess. Aye, and you shall speak with her. Uh, just uh, not in the flesh. Right. But eventually I do see flesh, right? In due time, my impatient friend. In due time. All right. I'll give it a shot. I've got nothing better to do. Uh... Let's go inside. Enter the temple. <sighs> Ooh. 
The guy pulled out a cork after having just put it in the wine for a little bit, and it looks like sausage. Oh, sorry. Forgot I'm playing a game. <laughs> a bunch of boves. You remember my brothers? Yes, but I'm so bad with names. Bove! Now I remember. Can we get on with this? <laughs> if I don't see this princess soon, believe me, boves will roll. As you wish. As I mentioned to you before, Princess Calais is in an impenetrable tower. You didn't say I impenetrable. Don't you mentioning the word impenetrable. Okay, I'm not the only one. <laughs> well, that's because it's only impenetrable to the likes of us. A strapping fella such as yourself should have no problem. Right. Nice try. Go on. The only way we can communicate with our beloved princess is by summoning an image of her. We have this ritual. Enough just words. do it. Let's see some action, some action. Very well. Are we ready, my friends? My guard is just standing there like, get on with it. Oh gosh. Uh, this noise better be worth it. If this were a stage, I'd boo you off. Wait a second. Hold the phone. The bell. Isn't that? No, or we'll lose her. Ring it now. Um. Ding. So he forgot the bell. But isn't that the lady that I summoned to heal me and protect me? Um... Was that her? <laughs> she looked familiar. Where's the bell? Was that Princess Calico? Calais. Bove. The bell. I don't exactly have it. <laughs> She's the one who appears when I use this pendant. Who does exactly have it? Farmer Finn. So she's the princess. Uh, and she's rich, you say? Ugh, gambling again? I'm sorry. I'm Can you answer the bard's temptation. question? Join the club. Who needs the stinking bell? Can't I just go and rescue her? I could leave right now. Do you have a fast horse? I'm afraid a rescue is impossible without information which only the princess can provide. Well, I can summon her right now. She comes when I use this pendant. Hey, let me see that. Hmm, it is as I thought. Where did you get this? From the guy that sent me to you. This pendant contains a portion of her magical essence. A little bit of her spirit, if you will. Right. It'll invoke her power, but does not allow for communication. Correct. All right, so point me in the direction of this farmer. If I can't buy it back, I can find a way to con it out of him. I obviously no can't kidding. trust Bove to go get it. But you must hurry. Time is an issue. Get that bell and bring it back here as soon as you can. Okay. Then I can go get the princess, right? No more run around? Aye. And she'll repay you many times over. And in many ways, I hope. <laughs> I'll be back before you know it. Our smitten bard was on his way to see the farmer, with luck at his side and images in his head of the princess doing things I dare not mention. I'm sure. <laughs> okay, how do I turn the map again? I forgot how to do that. Oh, okay. There we go. Leave the temple! 
All right. Sorry, the TV distracted me. I really need to remind him not to leave it on. All right, going this way. Oh look, the door is wide open. Time to go kill me some creatures. Oh bodyguard, please tell me you can fight. Let's go kill the, some freaking wolves. Ow. Sorry about that. Stop it! Ow. Ow! That kind of hurt. Stop it! You hurt Virgil. Now I shall hurt you. Ow. Thank you. Pardon me. Die. All right. No offense. Okay. Thank you, bodyguard, for distracting them. Excuse me, Wolfies. Ow. Ow. The heck. Ow. Help me in the defeat of these creatures that decided to try and hurt me very, very much. Do so, and I shall save you even faster. Oh. Die. Ow! That kind of hurt. Good. Stop hitting them. Take this. Ow. Get back here. Die. Good. All right, and let's go ahead and go over here.
Hello there, sir. Are you Finn? Because if so, I need that bell. Get off my land, you filthy vagrant. You're not welcome here. Don't burst a blood vessel, old man. I was sent here to <laughs> reclaim an important artifact. There are no artifacts on this land, you idiot. Mostly just chickens. Did Connor send you? If so, you can tell him that I'll get him his money and the wedding is still off. My daughter doesn't want anything to do with him. You go back and tell him that. I don't know any Connor, and you're a bitter old coot, aren't you? You have until I count to ten. One, two, three, four, yeah, mm, five, six, seven, eight. Excuse me. Damn, where was I? Three. All right. Three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, damn, where was I? <coughs> three. All right. No, no, keep going. I have all day. <laughs> but don't strain yourself. I can't have you passing out from exhaustion before I get what I want out of you. <laughs> that is quite disrespectful, stranger. I like it. I haven't heard any wit in these parts since... Uh, well, it must have been the fourth year of the Second Age. Old man McGillicuddy's great-nephew Kyle, was he that tried it. Don't think it worked out that well for him, though, if my memory serves me. <laughs> Which, at your age, I hardly doubt. Still, it has been a long time. Good, good, good. I'll try to be brief, so you won't forget. I'm here for the bell you won from Bove. You really are a nasty fellow, aren't you? Yes, yes I am. Nasty? <laughs> I thought I was on my best behaviour. I don't get nasty until after I get what I want. Ha! Ha! I like your son. You're just as ornery as I am. That is refreshing. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Since you cheered me up, I'll just give you the bell you're after. What do you think about that? Sounds there good. There must be a catch. Not too trusting, eh? I really do mean it. You can just take the bell. Just don't tell Connor I gave it to you. I don't want word to get out on being generous. Especially when I owe so much money. Connor? Yeah, he wiped me out so badly gambling. I had the trade in my daughter's hand in marriage to get out of debt. I knew you were a despicable old man. But your own daughter to get out of debt? That's a nice twist. No Maybe kidding. That right. But she ruined it by falling for some loser. Now the wedding is off. <laughs> I feel sorry for Connor. I feel sorry for the loser, but back to the things I actually care about. If you hand over the bell now, we can finally be done with one another. The bell is yours. A deal's a deal. I uh, tell Good. your daughter I'm sorry I can't attend the wedding. Oh no! Wedding? No, not Don't her. Don't someone say wedding? You've returned to me, my love. Daddy, this is the man I was telling you about. No, we are not getting married. Welcome to the family, loser. Thanks, Dad. Would you like seven children or an even eight? I think eight is enough for me. We'll be so happy together. And just think, someday this will all be yours. Kinda brings a tear to your eye. Well, Dad, how about that bell? You're a cut through the manure kind of guy, I see. That's me. You and I, we think alike. Like two peas in a pod. That's why I insist I give you the bell. On my daughter's wedding day. I earn that bell fair and square. Well, it's all in the family now, my son. To be honest, I'm glad it's you and not that good-for-nothing Connor. He hasn't the wit God gave my horse. A wise man knows when he's beat. Let me go into town and spread the joyous news of our upcoming nuptials. Think of me while you're away, beloved. Believe me, you're embedded right. in my brain. I just can't get you out of there. Until next time, my love. Dad? Oh, I know you'll be back. Oh, I yes, I will. to hear those wedding bells. The bard found himself engaged to none other than the farmer's daughter. It seemed our little hero was growing up. Get me a tissue. Who asked you? I obviously have two options here. Marry her. Or find some poor fool to take my place. Hmm. Let's make that one option. I'll have to have a heart to heart with this Connor fellow. Let's make Monsieur Gamble Master into a man, shall we?
And we have liftoff! And it's a long drop. Oh dear, oh dear. Here they go. 